Hey, from Canada. It's a couple days later. We are uh, putting on the side sheet metal to uh, blend in here to make this look like a bus once again. Um, it's been a little difficult today. Didn't sleep well last night and uh, a little irritated. Just, you know, well, more easily irritated, but of course I, you gotta keep it cool because, uh, you know, you just gotta realize it's just your, the way your body feels and not really your personality, right? So, um, also a little frustrating. I called the vegetable oil company and uh, although they did give me a little discount, trying to get a hold of the person who's in charge is next to impossible, which is a little disappointing. Uh, wanted to build a nice little relationship, but apparently he's always busy when I call. I spoke to him once before, so it's not like I called him 20 times and bugged him. Uh, but we do need an installation kit or installation schematic for the veggie system. Without that, uh, you know, I mean, we can figure it out, but it's nice to have some kind of thing. Uh, and we are learning the complexities and difficulties of building in the boonies, wouldn't you say? Yeah, yeah, pretty much <laughs> what I tell everyone to do, which is uh, build your bus close to a hardware store, and we're doing the exact opposite. But hey, yeah, you know. But what's also really hard for us is we depend on the internet, and that's not happening here. So, uh, so it just makes everything just a little bit more difficult, and we feel like we've only done like a solid weeks worth of work in the past three weeks so it's just a little challenging because we a few days behind where I thought we'd be though yeah because I mean, we, we want to get this, this show on the road so to say so right now Mike is on the inside do you want to say what you're just doing uh, I'm gonna be pre-drilling some holes to insert these here rivets and uh, if we do this right, we should have a sheet metal side of the bus. There we go. So basically, long story short, there's holes on the inside and he's just gonna, I'm gonna hold this here, he's gonna drill through and then we are gonna rivet from the outside in. And that's a uh, 3 sixteenths? No. You're doing a small one first? Uh, so if you have your hand below the uh, thing, hot shards will fall on it. So maybe you want to grab gloves. How does that fit? Fits perfectly, as expected. All right, cool. And also, we're probably going to put some caulking behind this thing oh, before yeah, just, the final install. Yeah, we're just pre-fitting it. We just got to get it sized up right. Make sure everything's in the right spot before we put any final stuff on it. When you take apart your bus, it's probably smart to keep uh, some spare parts from it on hand, uh, like this metal you can reuse. So then you can cut out perfectly exact square or rectangular 8 by 16 pieces. As you can see, what, wait, hang on, that's not very straight. Okay, the secret's out. I'm not a very good tin snipper. Oh well. But I'm just going to take the uh, grinder wheel and cut out a few uh, pieces, four to be exact. And then, <coughs> I'm gonna place it on the inside where those lights used to be, like that, and then tack weld it, and then put a little bondo, make it nice and flat, and that is a potential spot for some uh, advertising or logos for myself. All right, that used to be an emergency exit. How are you feeling about the progress? Good. Yeah? yeah. How's your energy today? Good. Good? Yeah. Well, that makes one of us. We got some good projects going on. So. <laughs> That's true. So, uh, what do you guys think? That is the new side of the bus, and there's going to be windows. The reason being, both Michael and myself really like uh, natural light and windows. Now, this side is here uh, coming together. It is also being uh, boarded up. And the reason why has 
yet to be revealed, but the top isn't boarded up, so if anybody has any guesses, feel free to throw them in. And yes, I already know there's a couple of little things I need to clean off there. We've been busy, busy. Build sites are inherently dirty, so I'm just gonna have to deal with it. Uh, also, I have my four pieces which cover up the uh, lights. This one here is has been grinded down with the uh, grinding disc. And it's gonna fit right in here like so. Covering up the lights. And then from the outside in, there we go. From the outside in, I will uh, put Bondo and make it nice and flat and that will allow me a nice logo area, um, potentially. All right, I'm done. I just uh, grabbed some of, I think this used to be the roof, and uh, cut it out, grinded the corners, chopped off a corner, because that's, uh, it would go like this because of the roundness up there, so that, that fixes it. And we're just going to tack, weld those into place. On the front side of this, we'll make it nice and smooth with Bondo. And uh, we're just going for a smooth thing. We're not going for, you know, perfection. Just so if there is a logo, which I think there will be, there won't be any weird bumps and things. <laughs> let's, um, let's go check in with uh, Michael and see how he's doing over here. How's the progress coming along? Good. Getting all my, my holes drilled and get the sheet metal piece in in like 20 minutes. Sweet. And then we will have a sheet metal, well, this side of the bus will be sheet metaled. <laughs> yeah. We're good to go. Awesome. This is uh, step two of uh, putting in the uh, light covers there. He's just tack welding them in place. You just got to grind and grind and then weld. We put some caulk on the inside and then Bondo on the outside. All right. That's what it's looking like from the outside. So. This is a, a lot cheaper fix than the last bus, but you do need the proper equipment for that. Um, so yeah, it's fun to learn and grow and try new things and do things a little bit differently. And uh, I think, in my opinion, a little bit, uh, a little bit better. Uh-oh, now he's breaking it. Go again. Gonna go get some fuel tanks today, but we didn't. But we ended up getting um, something called a Wabasto, and that's a coolant heater. So this is essential for, uh, well, maybe not essential, but it's gonna come in handy for our, for the vegetable oil conversion. And I uh, just want to say thank you to Ryan over at International for uh, helping us out. And uh, we actually might have him come and help out um, for part of the installation because it's a little. Part of it's a little, nah, I wouldn't say tricky, but it's when you're modifying the vehicle for veggie, um, you, you, it, it, yeah, it can be a little tricky. So hopefully it comes out and, uh, you know, do some sticks around the, the campfire and, and, you know, get it all set up to vegetable oil. So we're back in uh, ground zero and uh, we're picking up some pizza, but get this. So we went inside to ask them what they're doing for the with the used oil because we want to test out the system. Well, it turns out the owner burns it in his own truck. Badge, you want to give us a quick tour of what's going on inside this uh, engine here? Well, basically what he's got is two tanks. And then he's got two pumps back there and it pumps up through the filter housing. So he uses the same filter housing. This one's diesel yep. and that one's veggie. So basically, and this is just to keep it warm this in the is winter, just so right? He, yeah, and it doesn't work with the ship. All right, so by the way, this is Mo, and easiest way to filter oil is pantyhose, boys. Get the <laughs> hell out! That's why I cut them into two. Yeah. I get like I always have spares, by the way. <laughs> oh my God! You just imagine you get pulled you, over with that, right? Oh yeah, you cut them in half. <laughs> you cut them in half, and you just tie this end. Yeah. And you just do it. This end is ended up a little shorter, but I'm pretty sure I have another one. Oh, look at that. Yeah, you just cut it, cut it in the middle. Yeah. Tie this end up top, and then the bottom is tied to the bottom, right? Oh my god. Just open it, 
it's the best way to clean. Look, you filter anything through that. Really? Wow. Anything. That's all you use. That's it. You take Amazing. it out of the fryer. Put it in there. Make it sure it's not there. so hot. <laughs> yeah. And put it in there. That's it. That's all I do. That's insane. Wait, so I might, I might, like I said, I might give you a call if we oh, run yeah, into sure. some hiccups. But how do you like the system so far? It runs good. It runs hotter, which is better for a diesel truck, right? Yeah. The diesel, the hotter they get, the hot, the better they run. You get better fuel economy, way more power. Like yeah. you're gonna be surprised. The, and it runs ten times smoother. That's crazy. And, wow. and it, you, I'm guessing you don't have to fill this thing up anymore because you're using the fryer oil, right? Yeah. In the winter, I honestly don't, just because it minus forty here. Yeah. It's, yeah. Too cold. it's way too cold for it, but. For in the summertime, that's all they run it on. So you, uh, last time you, you filled up with diesel, up last, uh, la, la, oh yeah, you started up, you fired it up like right now. It's here. <laughs> if you want to bring your camera in here, yeah, it's on veggie. Yep. And then wait for the glow plugs to cycle. There it is. You just started up on, on veggie vegetable oil. oil. When was the last time you filled up the tank with diesel? Oh, it would have been May? No, April. So a couple months ago. Yep. Incredible. You betcha. Wow. Let's smell the exhaust. It's probably gonna smell like these now, but... Oh yeah, it smells like, uh, smells like french fries. French fryer! <laughs> french fryer! Yeah, you smell that? French fryer! Where do you put the pantyhose? I will show you. <laughs> I just, I forgot the panning holes are in the truck and I don't have to keep them right back. Alright, so he's got a little mesh thing too. Yeah, for the big stuff. Yep. This is crazy. Now who in the hell would have thought in Drayton Valley, Alberta? Like we're 200 <laughs> yeah. miles away from any city. The, yeah, this is a very small like, get city. get the hell out of town, really? Yep, I love it though. Guy doesn't fill up uh, diesel in the summertime at all. No, he hasn't run diesel since... Uh, three months. Three months, yeah. Can you pour the oil? Yeah. Okay. Oh, pour it, pour it here? Into that pan? In, no, into the, fan, into the pantyhose here. Or, or you could put the pantyhose over that lid and just no, pour it in. I, I don't, I don't ah. like that. It's just... Gotcha. Yeah. That's it. That's all. That's all. Look how easy that is. You're kidding me. Really? <laughs> That's yeah. it? That's all you do for a filter? That's it. And then it filters every little thing. And then the, the, the filters you have in the truck filter out the water, right? Filter, they filter out everything, actually. Huh. The water and then... Of course, there's going to be little particles in here, but like left in the oil. Yep. But it's a, that's the big catch. So how much of this do you go through now? That's, that's good for now, because we'll have to dump it. And yeah, look. Oh, wow. That does a pretty great job. Look at that. Yep. So that's just all the dirty crud yes, sir. that you're getting out. That's from the chicken fingers and deep fried chicken and everything else. <laughs> and that's essentially just to prolong your uh, filters. Filter life. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. That's it. Because the pantyhose is a lot cheaper than... Uh, than filters. Yeah. You didn't tell me that fucking Einstein working here. <laughs> <laughs> we were banging our head about veggie oil and here the guy knows everything about it. Yeah. She's up for sale. You get the money, you can have her. How much? <laughs> 17. You think you can pull a trailer with a sing badge? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he pulls a trailer with it. Already. I do, actually. Yeah. It's got airbags nice. and everything. What the hell do you want to sell it for? You just bought the damn thing. I bought it in January. I need a bigger truck. I need, like, a Cummins. Oh, well, you want, uh, like, a uh, Dodge, like yeah. mine? You that want a Not a gas guzzler, though. Oh, yeah. That's a fucking good truck. Oh, you're yeah. the guy at uh, Pacho Canada. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is he famous? Yeah. He's famous. He had poured all over his hands like That's that. That's okay. I'm his brother. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you know what I gotta do, badges? I gotta get these pantyhose on the uh, exactly. the pump. Yep. That's crazy. That is so hilarious, man. That is friggin' hilarious. Like so then towards the bottom of it, that's where all the sediment is. Yeah. And then I usually leave. I usually leave the rest. Like there's about, I'd say about oh, a liter yeah. in the back and the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Lots of sediment down exactly. there. Exactly. So I just leave that and then put this back here. Push in it back. The garbage. In. Then. Off she goes. Interesting. That's crazy. You Look guys, this is so awesome. Look at the stuff in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The yeah. Valley. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. The pantyhose took all of it out. Incredible. Look at that. And, uh, and anything else that's left in the stuff will be picked up by the uh, filters. Wow. Mo, you're the man. Thank you, sir. Dude, thanks for the, thanks for the info. No problem. <laughs> all right, so we're back uh, at the bus. Uh, just checking on on Michael. What did we do here today? 
We got the side sheet metal on the bus for the mystery project, which <laughs> I completely continually forget if we told them not. No. Or not. But yeah, so the mystery project, yeah, I need to... Pondo? No, 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 I need to keep welding it. Huh. Uh, they, they're not the same level, so I gotta uh, grind it. We will bond it with, though, to make uh, it all smooth. Cool. Um, because that's the, uh, yeah. the thing. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, uh, obviously we close this off. That is not gonna be closed off. Never before, never been seen before. Now, what did you, you said you ruined my glass. Well, yeah, what, so. Where did well, you ruin it? Let me it? explain, let me explain. So, uh, <laughs> warning to everyone at home, you should cover your glass when you're grinding and welding because if the sparks hit the glass, it will like, uh, I forget what it's called, but you'll ruin your glass. So I put this wonderful cloth here, but it was really windy and I wasn't paying attention and uh, I got some on the glass. Oh, yeah, So that's, that's not good. Yeah. Oh, it's but, on the outside. Yeah. Oh, but, but okay. The, yeah, but the good news is, oh, sh yeah, geez, look at all that. I know. Yeah, but the good news is, is uh, we're doing another mystery project. So this glass right here is. No, we can tell them about that. Oh, we can. Yeah, okay, this well, one ain't so mystery. So what we're gonna yeah. do, uh, we're gonna raise a step because we uh, look at how low the clearance is. Uh, that is about six inches or something like that. Um. So we're gonna cut off the bottom step and then have a little slide out step if we need it yeah. below it. So we'll just take the gra glass down here and replace it up there. Yeah, so not a big not a big deal. We'll, uh, it's totally fixable, but if we weren't doing this project, it would have been a big mistake and uh, I would yeah. have been a lot more concerned. Yeah. So uh, make sure it's you right. cover your glass well. It's all right, uh, see, I, I leave them alone for one day, one afternoon. Yeah. Good amateur hour over here. Yeah, yeah, but, uh, pretty much. <laughs> just kidding. Mike's a great uh, yeah. worker. But besides that, we got the floors done. Floors are looking good, buddy. Looks like you forgot a hole right there. Oh, damn it. I know. Or darn it. Yeah, it's okay, but thanks for not uh, covering that one up. Yeah, yeah, these, yeah, when you're doing the floors, these holes are, uh, for this bus, since we have an air seat, these are for the uh, the locks for the seat the belts and anchor. chairs. Yeah. yeah, the anchors. So uh, you don't want to cover those. You also don't want to cover these. Oh, you fo forgot another one in the middle. You know what? I those forgot two. two. Those two. And we got the, well, the bottom one we're cutting out. You know what? You're calling me out on all my shots. <laughs> I tried to get a lot of work done today. Yeah. I made one mistake. This yeah. thing, you know, worst yeah. bus out there, you know? <laughs> but uh, in all seriousness, uh, I'm very appreciative of all the work that he was able to do while uh, we were out getting parts. Uh, veggie parts and uh, truck parts. So let's all give uh, Michael a round of applause with one hand. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, so yeah, he's going to take off tomorrow night. Uh, so I don't know how much work I'm going to do tomorrow. But um, I'm going to fix the two mistakes I made today. So we'll, we'll make sure that. Uh that you're set up to kind of work while I'm gone. Sweet. So. Uh, and also, uh, we're gonna go, uh, we're not gonna do any beaver killing, but we're gonna go watch some beaver killing, and I know people are like, oh, dude, shooting animals. So we won't show that, but uh, we'll tell you all about it tomorrow. Thanks for watching. <laughs>